Before the coronavirus took a hold of the world, you didn't really hear much about epidemiology. But the pandemic has pushed the profession to the forefront of the news, conversation, and even social media. Renee Cooper sat down with an epidemiologist at the center of the coronavirus response here in North Dakota. No one necessarily talks about whether or not you're an epi. Um, a lot of them do work here at the state of North Dakota, though. Epidemiology is a branch of medicine. It deals with the study, analysis, and control of diseases, a cornerstone of public health that shapes political decisions and medical practice. Simply put, there's a lot of research and data collection. It kind of varies kind of epi to epi, but basically what I do, because I happen to work in infectious diseases, is do a lot of, you know, investigation of infe infectious diseases and some of the data stuff, like trying to make pictures out of, you know, puzzle pieces and kind of putting things together and kind of protecting the public health of individuals. Pre-pandemic, Jenny Galbra spent her work days focusing on vaccine preventable diseases like school immunizations. A lot of talking to people and just kind of protecting people. When I first discussed interviewing Jenny, I expected to find her in a lab, but that's not really the case. None of us actually work in a lab right now. We all, you know, my job is at a computer and a phone. So who are the people then doing all the testing in the lab? Yeah, so those are actually more like medical lab scientists. We work really closely with the lab, obviously, especially during this time. Jenny's COVID era title is case manager for the Southwest District of the state. Spending her days contact tracing. I love talking to people, kind of getting to the bottom of things and just helping people in general. It, you know, sometimes people can be difficult and those calls aren't always great, but it's the people that, you know, you know you helped or kind of make it all worth it. How much busier are you guys, the state's epidemiologists, right now than, you know, during a normal time? Um, I particularly am very much busier um, and we definitely just have way higher number of cases that we ever normally need to follow up on. But she says as an epidemiologist, times like these are what they're always planning for. One public health emergency after the next. Despite the long hours and high stakes work. Even during this time, I would take it all over again. Reporting for KX News in the capital city, Renee Cooper. Jenny went to school for biology and says she never expected to be an epidemiologist, but she saw a job opening several years back and the rest is history.